Hey guys, and welcome to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith, and today we're going to be doing something that I have to do a lot because I am a shorty. <laughs> I am very short, and all of my pants are always too long. No matter what size pants I buy, they are always too, too long, and I, yeah, it's really annoying. So, my husband has a pair of work pants that I've got to hem up today. So I thought what I would do is show you guys how I hem up my pants. So I figured I'd just take you along with me while I have to do them. So let's get started. The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn these inside out all the way. Now something you're going to need to know is your inseam. So if you don't know your inseam, that's the very first thing that you're going to need to do. My husband's inseam is a 36. So, get them all turned inside out. And you're going to want to have the seam where you can see it. So I put it right side up, right along the middle, right along the middle where I can see it. Now you've got your crotch um, seams all right in a row. They're all crisscrossing. I'll bring the camera closer in a second so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But you're going to take your tape measure from that crotch seam all the way down to whatever your measurement is. Alright guys, so this is what I was talking about. If my camera will focus, here is your crotch seam where all these intersections are coming together. You're going to want to take your tape measure right at this intersection and measure down all the way to where you need it to be. And then what you're going to do is you're going to mark it. Alright, so I measured the pants. Um, he is a 3630. So there's my 30 mark. And then what I did was I went down two more inches so that I have one to fold up and then another inch to fold over so that I can sew it down. You won't see um, your scraggly ends. So do that for both legs and then just go ahead and cut this off. And then we're going to take it to the ironing board. Alright, so I have cut off both legs. And just for kicks and giggles, I went ahead and left my 30 inch mark there so I could see and make sure that my measurements are running right. Now I've got this little tool I've showed you guys a couple of times. I like it because it has this little slide bar that you can put it at whatever the measurement is that you're trying to cut out or you're trying to mark and it stays there. So I need one inch. So I'm going to put it at one inch and it'll stay there and I can measure all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my one inch and I'm going to fold up my pants to one inch and then I'm going to iron all the way around. Now I realize that I probably should have done this on a different colored pair of pants so you guys can actually see what the heck I'm doing. Alright, so I've folded my first row and I've ironed all the way around. Now I'm going to fold it again so that the raw edge is tucked up underneath it here. So you're just, you're essentially just making one fold and then another fold. So go ahead and do that for both legs and then we'll be ready to sew it up. Alright, so you've got your raw seams nice and tucked in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew all the way around. The very first thing that I'm going to do, most sewing machines are going to have something that are all up in the way. We're going to go ahead and just take this off so that we can put our leg around it just like a sock. And that way it's just going to be a little bit freer to move around and because we're going to have to turn this as we sew it. Um, just find a line where you want to be. I normally just follow my uh, sewing foot and that way my seam is nice and straight. Just do that to both legs and you're done. Alright guys, so what did you think? I know hemming pants can be a little daunting, especially if you've never done it before. Um, it it's a little nerve-wracking especially if it's like a uniform pair of pants that are like you can't mess these up I would definitely recommend going to a thrift store and finding a pair of pants in your size and then uh, pra practicing on those before you go cutting into like uniform style stuff um, I've been doing it for a while so I think I know what I'm doing <laughs> I like to think so anyway if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up if you'd like to stick around, see what other kind of stuff we're up to, you can hit that subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I've next uploaded. If you have any questions or comments, if, if I needed to explain something a little better, uh, just put those in the comment section down below and I will get to those as soon as I can. 
Thanks for joining us here at FaithWorks Designs. Bye guys.